Hello and welcome to my guide to mass disenchant quickly and efficiently. If you see here in my bags, you've got a typical example. I've just created a whole load of braces that I want to disenchant. Now I'm going to go through a few techniques you can do to speed up this process. Unfortunately, you can't automate this process because that would be against the Blizzard Terms of Service. But you can't do something like a create all like you can when in actually creating these, so you can't do a disenchant all. So you have to manually disenchant each thing. Now there's a few different ways you can try and speed up the process as much as possible. I'll start with the slowest, which is basically if you're going to disenchant something, go in your professions, you click disenchant and then click on the item you want to disenchant. And then it automatically goes into your bag. Now the first easy way to change this and speed it up is to pop it down into your action bar. I put it here on the equals key so that now I can hover over what I want to disenchant, press equals and click that. And that's quite good because whilst I can disenchant one, I can move the mouse over to the next thing to disenchant. And as soon as that's gone, press the key and do it again. And this is fairly quick. Now if you're doing this level of disenchanting, I'm imagining you're using um, a lot of auction house stuff, but the next thing I'd recommend is using Trade Skill Master, the add-on, and as part of that add-on is the Trade Skill Master dis TSM Destroying add-on, which will allow you to disenchant, mass disenchant lots of these things. You still have to manually press disenchant, but it gives you um, one easy window to do all your disenchanting. So normally when you're creating things like this, it would pop up automatically, but because I've closed it in this session, you have to actually type in slash TSM destroy. And then here's the TSM destroying window. Now again, it's automatically populated this list with everything that I created in this session. All you'd need to do then is click destroy next and destroy next on each one. Now you have to manually wait for the disenchant process to go and the icon to become available again. A quick way to get through this is to set up the mouse scroll wheel as a macro and then you can just keep wheeling the mouse whilst you're doing something else like you could be reading another web page or something like that and you can quickly go through each of these dis disenchants. So to set that up you go into TSM and you go into macro setup. Now down here I've ticked everything including the TSM destroy next button which is the important one. Now one thing to w watch out for if you create the macro now and bind it to the scroll wheel I've got it with control pressed down you'll see here the warnings come up that basically the macro was too long and it has been truncated to fit so if I actually try to use the mouse wheel now it wouldn't work. If you look in the actual macro setting itself close that Here's the TSM macro here. You can see here it's got the vendoring, the auctioning, the craft next, and destroying has been truncated. So that's going to cause us problems. So you delete that macro, and what you need to do is choose one of those not to add as a macro. Now I personally don't tend to use the vendor sell all button. So I'm going to untag that and recreate the macro. Now you can see the macro's been created and the scroll wheel's bound. And if we look in the macro setup, you can see here that the TSM destroy button is the full string length. And now when we bring up TSM destroy, TSM destroy, whenever I wheel the mouse button, it will automatically do this destroy next. I also have to have control pressed down whilst I do this, but that's just personal preference. What you'd now do is you'd wheel the mouse button and what you look for is once the bar's gone there and you can see the icon coming down and dropping the next enchant in you can literally just keep keep scrolling the mouse wheel up and down and you'll automatically disenchant the next thing as soon as it becomes available now you can't unfortunately increase the speed of the disenchant you're always going to be limited by that so there's no way of speeding that up, but what you're trying to do is speed up the space between one disenchant and the next one. And I found that this is the 
easiest and most reliable way to quickly go through things because I could easily be having another page open whilst I'm doing this, maybe on another screen. And so yes, you still need to be at the computer and you still need to be wheeling your mouse, but it's the quickest way to disenchant lots and lots of things like braces. And there you go. You can see I've disenchanted all of those items and it's only taken about two minutes to do all of those using this method. So I hope you found that useful and you find disenchanting much, much quicker this time. Thanks very much. Bye.